Is it DNA editing will remake the world? Buckle up. This was the title of a paper in Wired. And while the, in The Economist, they were already talking about how would you design your baby. All the hype was due to a technology called CRISPR. And sadly, it's not about making CRISPR pommes or CRISPR bacon, but it stands for Cluster, re cluster uh, Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeat. And that's why they gave it this crunch name. The system is actually about one protein called Cas9. And um, so for gene editing, I want you to think as a package delivery system. And the package will be your mutation. The technology that was ab available until now, it's based on protein DNA recognition. And it means that if I want to send this package in Wilhelmstrasse, I have to look on Blablacar and find a driver that is already going there and ask him if he can bring the package there. But what if I have a second package to send to Hanover or to Berlin? I just have to go back in Blablacar and find a different driver because the protein will only recognize one sequence. With the Cas9, it's smarter because it's, it has an RNA molecule in the protein that is used for DNA RNA recognition. And this is basically like finding your driver, having a GPS and giving him the address, which is the RNA molecule. And actually, when you change the RNA, you can basically send this protein everywhere to cut the, the DNA everywhere in the genome. And this is an awesome technology. And going back to the designing babies, it, it's arguable if you want to have a more beautiful baby or with superpower. This is not really like ethic, I would say. But what if you have the power with just changing one mutant you can cure cystic fibrosis, for example. Or you change a different gene and you can cure muscular dystrophy. And is that really awesome? And what if you can fight... <laughs> it was that anyway, but what if, you <laughs> what if you can fight HIV by cutting out its gene from our infected cell? Or maybe in the future we will be able to find a plant that is resistant to diseases or pests and we will be able to feed our overpopulated planet. This is all exciting science that might become true in the future. But what we have to remember is that there's no reason to changing our genome, because we, are, we, can, do, we can be anyone, anyway. Matter of fact, there is no gene for fate. Thank you.